to spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> and, and, and it goes like this. I saw two roasted fowls flying. It's a dead <laughs> duck flying in the air. They've got like paprika on it and they've got like lemon glaze on them and they're flying through the air and i saw two of them um so i just wanted you to know that and then as well there was an anvil and a millstone that uh swam across a rhine did you do know what a rhine is is it a peel of an orange no it's a a rhine it's a 820 mile long river in europe and they were doing it very pretty and, and very uh, slow and very gentle. I'm but the fact of the matter is it, it was an anvil and a millstone that were swimming elegantly across this rhinestone river. And that's not a thing that you would normally see. But I did see it, and I just wanted to share that with yeah. you. In addition to those two things wow. that we just got done talking about, the ducks and the anvil and the millstone, um, yeah. I saw a frog. And it was on the ice. And you know what it was doing? It was at Whitsuntide. And Whitsuntide, also known as Whitsunday, is the name used in Britain and Ireland and among Anglicans throughout the world for the Christian festival of Pentecost, the seventh Sunday after Easter, and then that Monday and that Tuesday. And he's eating a plowshare? It's like the part of the plow that digs and cuts. It's like a blade at the front of the plow. Yeah, so he's eating a blade. Yeah. A frog is sitting on ice, eating a blade. In on Easter Sunday, uh, Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> the whole shebang. I mean, again, I just want you to know that that's happening and it's true. It. Why would I make that up? So there's three things that just happened now, uh, and they're they're pretty amazing. They're pretty wondrous. I, I might I might say that I Ditmarsh uh, have given you some great tales of wonder. Wait. There's more. There's these three dudes. Uh, one of them is deaf. The next one, the second one, is blind. The third one uh, is dumb. Dumb. He can't say anything. Deaf, blind, and dumb. And then and there's another one that just can't that can't move. Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's kind of lame. We just don't hang out with him very much. There's three guys in Floyd. <laughs> in Floyd. That he's he's kind of lame. And they're on crutches and stilts. Uh, but they they all wanted to catch uh, hair. I imagine them all being bald. Uh, they wanted to catch uh. some hair. And they did. And guess how they did it? Well, I'll tell you how they did it. The blind guy, well, he saw the hair. and that was It was running across this field. Um, the dumb one called out to the, the lame one and, and said, go get it. And the lame one got up and went and got the hair. The lame one caught it and broke its neck and the deaf guy just sat around and did nothing because he's he's kind of lame so that's what happened there's there's three guys and floyd and that's how they got themselves the hair and i just wanted you to know that um Mm -hmm. also there's some more guys there were several men they were they were they were sailors that wished to sail on dry land and so they sailed in the wind over the lands over the vast fields and then up onto a mountain and uh that's where they drowned. Miserably. On top of all of that, uh, there was this crab that was running. He was chasing a hare that was running at full speed. Yeah. Uh, so the deaf guy was the one that caught the crab because the other guys got the hare. They don't. It's not connected. I'm just telling. That there was another hare in the story. That it's not part of the the deaf, dumb, and blind guy story. And then a cow was lying on the roof after he climbed up there. Is just kicking it up there? Uh, Didn't doing even need thing? a ladder. No. Nope. Well, I mean, when the cow can jump over the moon, uh, it can jump on a house. Oh, and in that, that same country, there's flies that are as big as the goats are that are around here. Flies are gross. They puke everywhere. Like flying all over the place, like on top of people, like climbing uh-huh. on things, and then like licking things and then puking on the floor every time they landed. But yeah, so that's some stuff. That happened, and I uh, thought, just thought you should know. Yeah. Um, Before you go, though, maybe you should open a window so you can let all those lies fly out. Yeah. Um, we don't need them hearing this story anymore. <laughs>